years ago, uh, I was living in North Carolina. I was a, uh, a field engineer at a hydroelectric dam. And the company I was working for, Voith, uh, said everybody, even if you're, everybody in management has to do one safety correction every week. You got to see a problem, take a picture, and then solve the problem and take a picture. And I was at a construction site, and so it was pretty easy. It was a cord was strung out and it, it, over a walkway, and it didn't have a covering. And I would take a picture and I put the covering on. Or um, a ladder wasn't tied to a structure that it was supposed to be tied to, and I get a rope and tie structure to it. It was easy. And they really tried to shame everybody into doing this every week, and so. Every week, the whole everybody in my department got an email saying, "These are the people that put in their their uh, safety corrections," and we would get examples, and I would see examples from the main office, and it was a drawer was pulled out in uh, in somebody's cubicle, and somebody took a picture and said, "Like this is a tripping hazard," and then they pushed the drawer back in. <laughs> And say, like, I solved the tripping hazard, I saved the day, and solved the safety issue. And I would look at this and be like, oh, man, these guys, these guys in the office, they don't know what they're doing. So then, uh, two years later, I got an offer to stop being a contractor and become a salaried employee and move to the main office in York, Pennsylvania. And I took it, and I moved to York, and then I was in the office department, in the office, and but still in the field department. And they said you got to do these safety corrections every week, and I was like, ah, oh, shit! Now I, <laughs> now I gotta, now I gotta pull my cubicle drawer out. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not gonna do it. It's stupid. I'm not gonna do it. And I was gonna look around the office and say, what? Somebody has got it something plugged into the wrong outlet. I know it. I know somebody's screwed up. And so I go around looking for the, and it, it, you had to do one a week. And it was, moved to York, and it was like this most stressful thing about my job. I was like, I got to find a safety problem in an office. Uh, and then the, we get the grass mode on Tuesday, and they would go over a asphalt part of the parking lot the, the mowers, and they would leave these little metal strips that would come off the mower and break on the asphalt. And I was like, oh, that, that's a safety violation. Like, that, that could pop somebody's tire, clearly, even though it was flat on the ground. But I, was, I would pick it up and I would take a picture. I was like, I found a piece of metal in the parking lot. Hold up the piece of metal, take a picture. I was like, I solved the problem. And so I was like, all right, I'm not making up stuff. I'm picking up metal in the parking lot solving the safety problems. Then COVID hit. You all remember COVID. I know <laughs> you remember COVID. COVID was this thing where everybody had to go home, work from home who was in the office. The people in the field, they still had their safety problems to solve because we were a, a um, what do they call it? A uh, essential service providing electricity. But the people in the office like me, we got to work from home because we weren't as essential. Uh, and so then I was at home, and the first week I didn't do it. I, it was first time in years. I didn't put in my safety solution. And I got on, I got the email, and I was not on the list. And I looked at the examples that other people put on the list, and they were solving, since they were working at home, they solved safety problems at home. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I could have done that. I am working from home. So then I started looking around my house, and I was like, this bookshelf isn't exactly level. And I put it at the level, and I said, this isn't level. And I put a shim under, and I said, look, now it's level. I solved the problem. The bookshelf isn't going to fall on my child. This is going to be great. Uh, and I kept solving these home safety issues. Uh, and then I started thinking, at what point does it just seem to my employer that I have an unsafe home? And my, I'm putting my family at risk. And then there was a, 
I live in York, and it's, a, it's an old house. And I put a bucket under a drip in the attic when it rained because it's an old house, and I didn't get around to fixing the roof. And it filled up with water, and then a bat went in to <laughs> drink the water, and it was in a plastic bucket. And the bat, I guess, couldn't climb out of the plastic. And it was just floating there in the bucket. And the bat died in the bucket. And I was like, oh, I caught a bat. And, and I looked at it. And, I, and the first thing I thought, I was like, I got it for this week. I <laughs> killed a bat in my attic. And then I was like, I can't tell my employer that my, I have bats in my attic. Like, that's... It's got to go in the HR file somewhere. Like, I don't know what column it goes into, but it, they're, this is a professional company. They've got to put it somewhere. Um, but anyway, I submitted it, so 